gotta think about that. Y'all gotta think about this. Dirt just dropped that mix. Up. He's standing yelling, Doc, Duck, name, and two. You can't do that, bro. You wish, bro. You a man, bro. You got no man at all. They don't like, bro. You gotta keep dropping these people's names for these songs. Like, Damn, they gonna end there and say, Yeah, I have one. Never. We don't, we move like bosses. I don't play off of that. I don't try to treat niggas. I don't disrespect niggas. Because niggas try to play. And it's gonna happen to you. We don't do it. Not to check niggas. Y'all gotta keep getting mad at that way. I fuck with dirt. He be on G, but I still fuck with him and I fuck with his music. His movie, he making money on my hand. Yeah. Big Dirty hang with my dad, they both from Central City G. G he's like, I'm just telling y'all, like, I'm not a hater, G, but Dirk steady saying these niggas' names and songs, you don't have to do that. Like, I'm not a hater, G, but Dirk steady saying these niggas' names and songs, you don't have to I'm not a hater, G, but Dirk steady saying these niggas' names and songs, you don't have to Facts. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start the show, make sure you go to DJ underscore bless one and come rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Look, y'all got to see that early minute snippet of uh, King Von Uncle. So y'all, I did that. So when I say what I say, when I say what I say, you can show that you the hypocrite criticizing me, but you won't say nothing to Range Rover. I'm going to say what Range Rover said, man. Range Rover is speaking the truth right now. You can tell Range Rover, there's a little bit animosity here. This ain't me instigating or nothing like that. You can tell Range Rover feels slighted. He going hard in the paint for Vaughn. Range Rover is a GD. Vaughn and them or BDs and all that. Needless the, the, the less. Range Rover never really disrespected ducking them like that. You can see the way he's speaking about it. Why is you dissing Tuka? Why is you dissing ducking them? Like Range Rover is a real one, bro. He even telling them guys like you should have it would have been better if you would have made peace and then go give money to Duck's mama, Jojo and the mama and all that. This is how I want to see real men speak. This is how niggas need to speak about the, the pre present situation with young folks. I mean, no disrespect to Duck and them. I can tell Duck and them probably didn't give that man the love that he he should have get, meaning that Range Rover. I don't know what happened since King Von died. But I don't feel the energy like niggas and folks and them was looking out afterwards. Meaning that because Range Rover was like, ducking them ain't taking care of me. I take care of myself. And when you hear these words like that, I do be trying to play my own little character thing. And I do be trying to read between the line like, oh, okay. It ain't that they, they beefing at a point of death. But it's like, I don't fuck with the nigga like that. Like that, like I fuck with him. But it ain't like that, like that. You know what I mean? It's a little bit animosity there, man. And I'm not gonna about to make no rumors or why it's there, but I can at least feel like maybe they didn't they act different after Vaughn died. I don't know. Maybe the way a family member expects Dirk and them to act towards their family once Dirk didn't come through and do what he was supposed to do or act like he was act. I don't know. Cause I heard Vaughn's sister say similar things. Big facts. We all heard her. We heard Kayla B. Saying so many, like when she got in a fight with Cuban, she said something slick about them guys in them. Then she said it even more deeper. It ain't just Asian doll. Now, people can say what they want. Asian doll doing a little too much, doing this and that. So I'm not going to repeat what Asian doll said. Who knows? She got me uncomfortable too, whether she's clout chasing or not. But when King Von Uncle talk, bro, you just hear gangster in that man's voice. I'm not saying gangster in the way I'm glorifying it. I'm talking about the way they used to be. Like Jay Prince was talking about, motherfuckers with principles. And when you got principles, you ain't looking at no Dirk as your leader. You ain't looking at no, no disrespect to Dirk. You ain't looking at Dirk as your so-called head honcho, your OG. None of that. He's a little nigga to you. So you gonna speak to him in a little nigga type of way. That's what I get from King Von's uncle. He talking to Dirk how a, a nigga older supposed to speak to a dude younger like, folks, man, you, you wildin' out here. This death is on you, bro. That's what Range Rover is basically saying, like, folks, the hell is wrong with you, bro? I put all that death on you, gang. And that's what he's literally stepping out here and letting it be known. If Dirk would have moved this way or that way and quit doing what he's doing, things would have went better for D-Thing. You heard, you heard their, um, King Von's uncle? He said D-Thing throw these parties all the time in the shot. Everybody know he throw these little get-togethers and nothing happens to D-Thing. And like, like, like... King Von Uncle Range Rover is saying, bro, niggas get to see you all the time. Like, oh, he always be here and such and that. Then got the drop on the flexing nigga. He from OTF. 
Facts. I got the drop on the flexing nigga. He from OTF. Yeah, you see how I twist that around? You think you the only one who look at your ops and say these things and, and wait for your moves and, and try to embarrass them? The same guys are also the get back games. Just because y'all name yourself the get back, every motherfucker out here getting back. And when you got people you love out here, how the hell you do the things you do? I be looking at you niggas brave. It ain't that I'm scary. I got too much family out here to be doing what some of you niggas do. It's easy to diss each other. It's easy to make a diss track. I can make a diss track right now on your favorite rapper, favorite rapper, and diss the hell out them. Nigga don't even know how to rap to diss each other on the track. That's the most easiest thing to do. What make you solid is like deep things said, I don't diss nobody. I make these things clap. Repeat that again. He said, I don't diss nobody. I make these things clap. That's it, gang. All this extra y'all rapping with, niggas ain't trying to hear all that, bro. Crash collision course, I keep telling you. That's what's headed for almost everybody out here. This crash collision course got to be fixed, man. It's, it's setups. It's death traps that's not needed to be here, bro. You can jump over those hurdles. All you got to do is go in that booth and continue looking at the bags you getting. Nah, it ain't you forgetting about your dead homies. You know how you make your dead homies win? You get that bag and you take care of they people. That's how you take care of your dead homies. You you get that bag and continue to win. You make sure they kids get some food out here. Mamas and them, everybody eating, everybody getting that bag. Just like Range Rover said, bro, you making like 40, 50 million. I don't mean to count nobody pocket, but... You one of the littest rappers out here right now. And I hate to say it, when King Von died, your name rose up. You had a legacy to carry, gang. Quit with the dissing. God damn. You got so many dead ones around you, bro, that you got to carry right now. Are you strong enough to carry that, gang? Are you strong enough to carry that? Are you? It's a lot of folks who ain't here no more. You need to start thinking. About the situation at hand, bro. It's a lot of folks in them is not here no more. They, they, they ain't coming back. This ain't a video game. It's not. I called a new thing. I said, y'all hear about GTA? It's a new thing called GTS. Grand Theft Soul. Niggas is stealing souls out here. Just snatching them. And y'all coming back. Y'all go in that booth. You finish crying for your homie. What you do? You get comfortable again and I'm smoking this. I'm dissing that. Like, God damn, can we leave Tuka alone? Can you let Tuka live? It's hard for people to feel sorry for folks in them when you keep dissing certain people. That man Tuka been resting in peace for how long now, bro? And I don't even know if he's resting in peace. There's no way people can die the way that they're dying like this and we think they're resting in peace. I like keeping it real. I don't think none of these people are resting in peace. But can you at least leave them the fuck alone? God damn. Let's see if this lesson learned is a lesson learned moment. Big facts. Ladies and gentlemen, go to my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one, and come rock out with the most winningest team out here right now. I smoke hip hop live. Come rock out and be blessed and stay blessed. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, y'all.